Yo, what up everybody? It's your favorite green eye bandit. I see green coming back with a waking up early. And I just want to say teamwork makes the dream work. Get it? How many times have you heard that? Teamwork makes the dream work. There is no I in team, blah, 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 blah. You heard all that. And it's more evident now than it's ever been especially in the entertainment industry. And I mean it in all facets, but I'm going to talk to you guys about it from the music aspect, um, from the entrepreneurial side of teamwork. Um, I live here in Atlanta now. I'm from Flint, Michigan. You know what I'm saying? A small city, more known now for the water than it was you know, before. But Flint is a small city with talent that is so ridiculous um, that it's overshadowed by everything else. Um, the talent there is at the top echelon of creativity because they just bounce off each other. Like it's so small. Um, that's what sharpened my tool is I knew all the dope producers and writers in my area and I you heard their music through other rappers and stuff like that that were using it and you wanted to be better. You wanted to excel. You wanted to, you know, and then you learn from each other and you just iron, you know, steel sharpens steel or iron sharpens iron or however, whatever the saying goes. And, uh, and so you grew to be dope. What Flint didn't have and doesn't have as far as I know to this day um, is people working as a cohesive team, which is so important. Um, fast forward to me moving to Atlanta. Atlanta is a community um, on the entrepreneurial side of things. When I tell you a community, I mean each one of these uh, areas has a group, um, maybe one main artist that represents an area. You know what I mean? Like uh, uh, one artist that everybody in that neighborhood or that crew or whatever gets behind and pushes it until it has success. No one person has to do it alone. Um, and I'm, I'm saying all this to say this. I just posted, if you haven't seen it, I've just posted a Billie Eilish inspired song called Emerald Cities. Um, and I wrote it, I produced it, I recorded it. Then I turned around and I shot the video for it and I edited that video and I got it to you guys in the time frame that I said I would get it to you guys. And it was ext an extreme overtaking um, or undertaking that most people say, but it was a lot to do. Um, and do I wish I had a team? Absolutely. Um, there are very few people that I've uh, encountered that, um, that get the concept of team and really play their position. Like, I will tell you, again, those people here in Atlanta, um, I can give you Ludacris, for example. When Ludacris and Shaka were doing their thing, Ludacris was the front man, and Shaka did everything else to coordinate behind him. And so Luda didn't have to do anything but make sure he was dope, which is so dope to me. Um, you have people like Polo the Don who champion these artists uh, up and represents Zone 4, you know what I mean? So you know where... He's coming from, you know, he's Atlanta born and bred and that he's represented to the fullest. Um, and so it's a little more challenging being a implant or, you know what I'm saying? I've been here for a while, but I'm still, you know, I, I, I definitely fuck with Polo. You know what I'm saying? I've worked with Polo before. I fuck with uh, Nitty Beats, you know what I'm saying? Nitty and I did some things together. These are people who are from here, but it's a lot of them. Gip Goody, you know, a whole bunch of people from Atlanta that have embraced me and, and you know what I'm saying, have made me feel at home. Um, what I've yet to be able to develop though is a team that understands their roles and how to move as a machine and that part is why you saw the video the, the heard the song and all that that I had to do alone not that there aren't people that I, I think I could have called on some people and they would have helped or whatnot but I you want a team who understands the vision, who can help push things through and be consistent. And because Atlanta is now so widespread, I think that's a huge part of why it's hard to build that team if you weren't born here or if you weren't raised here, or if you didn't go to high school here and stuff like that. So 
Um, I'm just saying this to you all so you know that in any and everything that you do, find your community in your area. And sometimes they're not going to be uh, 100% at what it is you need them to do. And you kind of got to coach them up or just let them develop. And everything is so fast nowadays, nobody wants to let things develop. Uh, I think you have to if you're building a team and if you're building a, a comprehensive team that's going to get to reaching and uh, accomplishing goals, you're going to have to give people time to grow into that if they aren't innately already doing it. Um, but yeah, I, I was thinking about that. I was like, yo, what I love about Atlanta is how the teams work, how the Migos and that whole situation work. And little do y'all know that uh, like my little nephew Jarrell is like the 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 push behind when the Migos first started out man let me tell you uh they were everywhere doing everything and he was the machine behind it he's from Flint so y'all understand that you can um build your family here and and have success you just have to um all have to be moving on all cylinders know your role and push to help the team the team work does make the dream work and if your dream is that important to you build your team y'all are my team right now so um i need y'all to uh subscribe and watch the videos on youtube don't just subscribe because that means something the time that you watch a video i just realized that that it means something because they're telling me like yo you gotta have i think four thousand hours of watch time something like that and i'm like i, I don't know what my number is it ain't four thousand i'm like i ain't shh, i don't have four i don't know what that even means but um subscribe retweet repost whatever you do you know what i'm saying um, as a part of my team, y'all are an extension of my team. The people who like this, who the people who watch me, the people who uh, read, you know, push the like button, that leave me comments and, and stuff like that. Man, y'all my team. So um, I know as I progress and as things take off, y'all are going to. It's like we, and you know, what I'm saying it ain't like I'm taking off. It's like we're taking off, which is so cool because I can already see how you guys show your love and appreciation and support. And I want to be in a position, more in a position to show y'all that back. You know what I'm saying? Like, if if I had it my way, there's a core group of you that have been with me from day one that um, wherever you are, you know, my career will take me to where you are and, you know, I'm able to give you guys the perks and benefits of being those early supporters. Um, from tickets to backstage to all that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? People be like, yo, how you know such as that? Be like, yo, I've been down this fool since the beginning. Anyway, I just want to shoot that to y'all, man. I'll holler at y'all soon. Uh, if you haven't, follow, like, subscribe, do all the social network stuff. Um, I can see when you do it, and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And we'll talk soon, all right? Deuces. Oh, wait. Go watch the video, man. Emerald Cities. That's, uh, you know, that's kind of why I themed out the room like in green, you know what I'm saying? You know, because I could have switched it up, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't do an Emerald City joint, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I mean, I could have did a, a Blue Room, you know what I'm saying? Or I could have did a Prince theme thing, you know what I'm saying? But I went with the green, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Emerald City, baby. All right.